Hello everyone and welcome back to Chained Echoes in the last session. We arrived at the Mary Lee, the uh, the big floating cathedral's cathedral <laughs> cathedral city uh, thing. And uh, unfortunately, Killian has got the Grand Grimoire, and Killian has pissed off with the Grand Grimoire. And oh god, it's gonna go so badly. Oh god, oh no. It's gonna be terrible. <laughs> I am so worried about what he's gonna do with it. Right, okay, let's begin exploring a new digs then, shall we? I can't imagine that this is a place we're gonna... Oh, wait, this was an actual... Hang on. <laughs> I can't imagine this is uh, a place we're gonna be at for long, but we'll see, we'll see. You're finally back on your feet. Great. I think your Lisbon friend is doing better as well. He went out for a stroll. Anything to find? Yeah, I don't know. I'd like. Are these guys gonna end up, gonna end up being our enemies? Probably, right? I would assume so. So I can't imagine we stay in this sort of happy, sort of, oh yeah, everything's fine kind of state with them. You are the guests of His Excellency, aren't you? I hope you enjoy your stay. Fresh air? No, I'm fine. I'm going to stay here. Sienna doesn't look so good. She probably needs a nice ice devil pudding. Anyone over this side? Nope. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Right. Uh, looks like there is a room over here. My training is complete. The day after tomorrow, I leave Mary Lee and take over the management of a retirement home in Doe. Hmm. I feel like this is one of those, it's my last day on the job. I'm about to retire. Like, is that, you know, is that one of those, you know, like, oh yes, it's this policeman's final day. He's going to have a great retirement and he's dead. Is this city about to get shot out the sky or something? Are all these people going to fucking die? The latest numbers just came in. The current percentage of homelessness in the Arnsreich has dropped to under 5%. We have our free shelters to thank for that. Oh, well, that's good at least. Hello. From a technical standpoint, the Gandibranth Society is superior to all nations. I mean, look around. We live in a flying city, without any flying island at all. The Gandibranth Society itself is based in Valyria. Parade armor, okay. Uh, we're already in it, and yeah, no one else is in our party right now, so can't see if anyone else wants it. Okay, let's start trying to be somewhat methodical exploring this area. Let's head down the left-hand side. Salvation through progress is our credo. Credo? Isn't it just creed? Is credo a word? I feel like I've never heard credo. Oh, you're interested in how the church is structured? Yes. The Ganderbrandt Society consists of various departments that serve to improve the world through technological advancement. This includes the church. Although the society originated from the church, it is now an equal department. We want all people who participate in God's work to be on the same level. Many people do not understand this because they think that the church and a secular corporation are antithetical to one another. But God has shown us that this fusion works. Thanks to our faith, we cultivate people and open them to technical progress. The church is called the Cultivation Department. Emphasis on the cult within the organization. But we rarely tell that to the outside world because it doesn't sound particularly religious. <laughs> The church is financed by donations from their believers and the income of the Ganderbrandt Society. Every department of the Ganderbrandt Society has the same level of authority. The church is one of them. Together we are trying to lead Eldrea to a better future through technological progress. Anyone else to talk to? Doesn't appear so. Uh, so wait, is this just like, is, is there not an exit to this place? Uh, it looks like- oh wait, no, there's stairs. Oh! I've heard that Sir Eva was once called the Boar of the Northern Sky. She is supposedly known as- she supposedly is known to fight fiercely in battle. Is this two exits? This one goes to here. Huh.
Ah, oh, shit. Have I accidentally found the way to go? Hmm? What's Amalia doing there? All right, Chris. Time to learn how to do this small talk. Ahem. What are you staring? I mean, how are you doing, Bathraz? We are doing fine. Why do you ask? Your arms and legs, so they belong to your son. Not exactly. They are my son. Or at least parts of what is left of him. Can you communicate with him? No, that's impossible. But I can sense him. I can feel his ether. Well, that's something. You are asking a lot of questions while keeping a lot of secrets to yourself. Secrets? You saw my past as I saw yours. Yet, we did not see everything. True. It would most certainly be fair to lift these secrets of mine, since I saw yours. I think I know what you would like to ask. What did I pay, correct? What did I offer to receive this curse? Yeah. That is the question that I also had. The power of healing was not cheap. I thought I could offer one of my siblings, but they meant rather little to me, so the masked man did not accept them. Of course he wouldn't. You wanted to get rid of them, so that would have been too convenient. Unfortunately, yes. So instead, I paid with a part of my life. I paid with my future. Your future? Huh. All the years that I would have lived in this world, I offered them. Don't tell me. I do not have much longer to live. Perhaps a year, maybe two. Oh man, I'm sorry. That's a high price. At least with the power of healing, I have the chance to help a lot of people before I leave this world. You are strong, Amalia. No, I think I received the curse because I was too weak. I was just another victim of the palace's intrigues. But contrary to my siblings, I received the chance to live a few years longer. I was lucky. I was not strong. You were a child. You didn't have to be strong. It is the parents' task to protect their children. Your parents failed. And so did I. Anyway, we wonder if there is a way to lift the curse. If there is, we most likely will not find it within my lifetime. Probably not. Did you hear all that, Glenn? I think I should return to the hotel. My body hasn't com recovered completely yet. Alright. Uh, I'm guessing this is the way to go, maybe? I'm looking like that, I assume. Mm, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm really worried about heading the right way. I feel like up there might be the way to go, so I'm going to not do that yet. You look a little unbalanced to me. If you want to stay in good health, then a good night's sleep is essential. <laughs> yeah. I've started trying to get good night's sleep recently. It's going fairly well. But it also feels really weird after years and years and years of not getting good night's sleep. <laughs> High Inquisitors... Wait, why does this person not have a name? High Inquisitors are only allowed to take off their helmets in private and in front of the Pope. However, Sir Wyatt doesn't even do that. He must have taken a vow or something. Oh, now he has a name. Oh, wait, no. Now I'm talking to you. Uh, okay, so... We already have, like, the good shit, don't we? The good shit. 
We've got snacks, we've got meals, we've got sweets. Um, we've got a bunch of these things. Repair kits, exchange parts, we have, yeah, okay. Anything that I need to sell. Flintlock can go. Emerald amulet can go. Uh, brass knuckles can go. Oh, and the cestus can go. Uh, that's all fine. Do do do. We've got a spare parade armor. Strong suit. We can get rid of strong suit, right? Uh, yeah, I believe. Phantom cloak. We've already moved up to the leyline coat. Leyline coat. Do we need to spare one of those? I don't think so, but I guess I'll keep one just in case. Uh, all the loot. We read all this, didn't we? Boom. New deals unlocked. Okie doke. Uh, ooh, we can get the sun and moon thing now. Accessories that raise your resistance against light and... Oh, wait, no. We could do this before, couldn't we? We were just trying to keep over 100k. Uh, but we no longer need to keep over 100k. Apparently, it was indeed a bug. Uh, you know that... That, uh unique monster that we were trying to get to spawn and I was like why is it not spawning it can't be this other one that we already killed because that was before we had 100k turns out it's just bugged and it will just spawn regardless of whether you have 100k or not despite what the dude says so yeah I, I sure spent a lot of time trying to get something to spawn that I'd already killed huh good shit anchor 8 okay claws 8 which is what we've already got <laughs> thief's gloves who cares? <laughs> uh, ultimate material pack. Ultimate heavy armor. Ultimate light armor. Sandy tooth. I don't remember where we got sandy tooth from. Tadai eye. I know what the tadais are. The tadais are the fucking bitches in the sewer, right? In the Orgain grotto, rather, not the sewer. Uh, that you have to feed the thing to. But we haven't ever got an eye from them. We keep getting their tail or some shit. Some shit, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, no, this guy just doesn't have a doesn't have a name. Okay, <laughs> sure, why not? That's not actually something I can walk on by the looks of it. Oh, hello. Wait, <laughs> I'm accidentally following Amalia. <laughs> this is unintentional. I wonder if I'd have gone this. Wait, can you get to this way without going past the top bit? Probably not. I don't know. Len, there you are. You are conscious again. What a relief. But your face is still marked by paleness. You should probably stay in bed. Listen to me, Len. I had another dream. Until now, I couldn't remember my previous life. I still don't remember everything, but now I know who I was. That's great. I'm happy for you, Glenn. I couldn't explain it until now, but I've always had a familiar feeling being close to you. I realized that back in Cortara when we were stranded alone. So we know each other from our previous lives? Yeah, we were banging. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you have that feeling? I'm not sure what you mean. I was a teacher in the Order of Leonar. No, that can't be. Remember how you almost died and we had to send off your echo? I remember. I followed you shortly after that. It's me. I'm Timothy. You're Timothy? I know it's unbelievable, but... I... I... Len, wait! Let go of me! What's wrong with you? I don't get it. Bro, I mean... <laughs> you, you can't... You can't just... <laughs> oh, dear. Like, just because you were a thing in a previous life doesn't mean that, like, she wants to be a thing with you, this version of you, in this life. Like, I don't know. It seemed like he was implying, like, oh, hey, we found each other now. We're together. And, like, yeah, no. That's not how that works, Glenn. <laughs> Drop it and leave her alone. But you have no decency at all. From one day to the next, Len is overwhelmed with the memories of a lifetime. It's lucky she's still sane. She probably just needs some time to sort through her memories. Time? Yes, that's probably it. 
No, don't fade to black. No, no, I've, I've barely explored. Oh, please don't tell me I'm getting kicked out. Please don't tell me I'm getting kicked out. I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to be so upset. Your Highness, the visitor from Mary Lee is here. Bring him in. I can't, what, what was I doing for Frederick's voice? Oh, fuck. Killian's here with the Grand Grimoire. What did you say your name was? Killian, your Highness. Your information about Mary Lee has served us well. I noticed. It did not escape me on the way here. You are mobilizing your troops. Very keenly observed. And that's why I'm afraid I won't be able to let you go. But speak. What brings you to us today? But this is... The Grand Grimoire. How did you come into its possession? I took it from your sister. Don't worry, I didn't harm her. She doesn't concern me anymore. But why are you bringing it to me? You know what it is that you're holding there in your hand, right? I do. I brought it because you are the true ruler of Volandis, and this weapon is yours. You are the rightful owner. Like, obviously Killian doesn't believe this, so what is his angle here? Like, yeah, this like obviously this doesn't add up for the Killian we know, so he's playing a game here, but I'm just, I'm not seeing it yet. Like, if he gives it over, then Frederick's gonna fuck, like, it's gonna be terrible, <laughs> but it's also terrible that Killian has it, so I don't know. <laughs> Is that what you think? Your Highness, I think Killian's deed deserves the greatest rewards we can offer. He has brought us the weapon that will forever protect your realm. Indeed, you have the infinite gratitude of Tarin. You may have whatever you wish for. Gold, some land, the title of nobility, anything you want. All that and a place in the ranks of the generals, along with their power. Are you serious? Ha 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 ha! What insolence! But after General Godfrey's departure, we actually are in need of a new replacement. Wow, okay. Killian was your name? If you want all that, then I'll make you a deal. Oh yeah? Oh boy, what's the deal? Oh fuck, oh shit, oh no, oh god. If Killian gets the power of the Grimoire bestowed into him, then Killian is definitely going to be a boss fight. <laughs> and we are definitely going to have to kill Killian. And that will be unfortunate. Having such a big place as Mary Lee up in the air is nothing special for us Arnsreichers. We are a nation famous for our airship technology. We have a few airships as big as this city. And have you ever seen the Genos caravan? That's even more impressive. Still not 100% certain what I should be doing with her voice. Oh, wait! <laughs> Man. Am I thick as fuck? Has that always been there, the big star on the map? And I've been like, I reckon we're going up the top there. That's where it's gonna be. But like, no, the star on the map is in the middle. Has that always been there or, or has that only just appeared there because I've had to be... I, I had to talk with the other two first. I really hope that that's not always been there. Otherwise, I feel actually thick as shit. Uh, right, let's have a look. Okay, there's a chest there, which we get to from over there, which I don't know how we get over there. Uh, through here? Aha. 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 We must increase the food supplies to Nebralia. Due to the length of this past war, the population has hardly anything to eat. Our income has been looking rather dismal for the last few months. We unfortunately had to close a couple of orphanages in Pangaea. Sag. Nectar? What's nectar? Uh, have I already got nectar? There it is. Heals all TP. Right, 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 right. Ah, member. Ah, member. <laughs> really? Nothing? Okay. Bonk. And then nothing down here, right? No. Nope. 
now we're up here. Okay, dead end down to the right, it looks like. The church's concept of loving your neighbour as yourself surely only applies to other members of the church, right? I mean, theoretically, no. In practice, maybe? Don't know them well enough. Truth be told, it feels a bit strangely strange to be here. The church brought about the demise of my village. Luckily, I'm a master of my emotions. I can control myself. Lord Marcas has often is often accompanied by a dark sky armor. He must be something like he must be something like his private bodyguard. Yeah. What was the pilot's name again? Endart. I think he must be an AR, just like Lord Marcus. Oh, this is news. I think, unless I'm having a memory issue, I'm pretty sure that's like previously unknown issue, uh, previously unknown information. Hmm. A lot of fucking AR just hanging around. <laughs> it turns out. Big chilling. Okay, so this is where I've been. So I haven't been down here. Wait, have I been down here? Now I'm getting lost. <laughs> have I been? Yes, I've been in here. I've talked to you. I went up. Okay, so you know what? I never did go up the middle bit. So let's go up the middle bit. Because we now know that that is not. Wait, I also never went down. Let's go down first. Because that looks like it did end. Victor! This is my second time in Mary Lee. The last time was about 250 years ago. And AR's memory is not all that much better than a Hyon's, so I don't remember a lot. I do keep a diary, but it can fill a whole bookshelf, which is why I seldom carry it with me. Shee hee hee hee. Okay, we've got all the chests here, that's good. There. Okay, what's up here then? This is definitely not the way to go. <laughs> this, this has a way to go vibes, you know. Oh, never mind. It's a it's a law thingy. Okay. Where do you want to go? Oh, never mind. It's not a law thingy. It's a fucking lift. Lower floors. Huh. I was I was expecting them to entry is forbidden. Oh, the Holy Mother's Fellowship. You may pass, of course, I guess, although I advise against it. This works torture, I tell you, but at least we have food and a roof over our heads. It's worse than other parts of the world. The work is demanding and drains you completely, but for God we gladly devote ourselves. Now hurry up, God will notice your half-hearted behaviour. I don't give a shit about Gandibranth. I work here because I have no other choice. Somehow I have to make ends meet. Ain't that the case for a lot of people. If we are hardworking enough, we might move up. I hear the R&D department has great working conditions. Uh, let's go over here. Wait, really? Nobody in this room wants to chat? Well, fine. Fuck all of y'all. You would think that we would only be eating watery soup down here, but we're actually getting large chunks of meat for every meal. What animal is this meat coming from? Oh boy, you should learn how to ask the right questions if you want to stay happy down here. Oh no. New supplies have arrived. Look at that leg. That must have been a huge cow. As big as a monster, at least. <laughs> yeah. You're eating monsters. Everyone who is dissatisfied should work harder. The diligent will be rewarded. At home I was taught not to associate with such people. But the church and God showed me that even these people are human beings. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad that is what you learned. They think they have it hard here. Do you know how hard it is to stand for hours doing nothing? <laughs> Fuck me. In this place our proficient tinkerers are working on our machinery. The work may be challenging, but those who are particularly talented may move on to Ganderbrandt's R&D department. Is this like a carrot that just gets dangled, but no one ever actually gets moved? 
What should I do? Oh dear god. I have to bring the poor woman in there a horrible message. Her husband died while making repairs at the outer walls of the city. He was so exhausted from all the work that he wasn't concentrating and missed a step. How am I to tell her that? Uh... I don't know, man. Rather you than me. There are more workers here than beds, but since we work in shifts, it's not a problem. Oh, great. One? Fuck me. <sighs> so you're just gonna be fucking... sitting down on someone else's, like, mattress that they've been fucking... Like, do you know how much skin you shed into your mattress? Like, it's grim on its own, but it's even grimmer when it's someone else's. <laughs> This vase's co content smells like piss. I felt ill a week ago. My husband has to do all the work now in order to support us. Oh no! That's double sad! Bruh. Bruh. What the fuck's happened here? Huh. Are we gonna be coming down here later or something? Oh wait, no, it's not a door. I'm going up to the higher floor, aren't I? Ah, oh, this is this bit. Okay, right, right, right. This is His Holiness's audience chamber. He is currently not available, which is why the queue is so long. Ah, audience with His Excellency, I'm so nervous! There have been a lot of orphans in Raban since the war. We need more money to help them all. I told, told them all His Excellency is currently not available, but they're still waiting in lines. Alright, we have all the information on why Wyothgan sorted. We must convince His Excellency that they are in need of a new church. I'm guessing I can't go up any further. No, okay. Cool, well that's the other floors explored. Good, 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 good. Uh, city floor... Okay, so where haven't I explored? I have explored all around there. I don't have I been Have I been to the bottom right corner? What was this one? Wait, I haven't been in here. Oh. Due to the war in Nebralia, all of their orphanages are over capacity. That is why we're transporting these Nebralian orphans to their new homes in Varti. Did you know that all of our Sky Armor technology is based on the three legendary Seraph Armors? They are called Casper, Melchior, and Balthazar. Yeah, I've heard about them, and the fact that it's getting repeated means we're definitely going to be seeing them. I'm from Nebralia. Everyone thinks it's always hot there, but they don't know how cold the nights can get. Many of my friends don't know either and froze to death. I miss them. Oh my god, this is so sad. <laughs> Bruh, this place is awful. Hello? Why can't I? There we go. <laughs> It's like, no, you will not pass through here. Uh, okay, so I have done all this, and down here is where we met Len, right? Yeah, okay, good. And then up there was the route up to the top. Uh, and we spoke to you, so the I, we haven't been down here. Uh, right, but that just links up with here, which we have been down. So I think we're done. Unless I'm missing something. That loops up there. Yeah, no, that's everything. Cool. Okay, good. Do you want to return for the day? Oh, nice. It gave you an actual point of no return option. That's kind of it. But yes. Hello. Len. Everyone's here now, Sienna. Oh, is she going to out herself? There is something I have to explain to you. I know you won't be able to believe me, and it will be the biggest surprise of this trip for you, but I have to get it off my chest. I was once a part of the church. <laughs> we know that. Wasn't it obvious? How could we not have noticed? What? You belong to the church? You knew 
Well, except Eagle, apparently. How? You are well informed about the facilities in Shambhala. You seem to know High Inquisitor Raphael. And likewise this Wyatt. Humph. <laughs> well then, sorry to have stolen your time. Anyway, to wrap it up, I uncovered those facilities in Shambhala and other crooked business and left the church. I've been traveling the world ever since. I'm just surprised no one in Mary Lee recognizes you. As High Inquisitor, I always had to wear a helmet. Ordinary residents and soldiers don't know my face. You had the rank of High Inquisitor? That's surprising. I wouldn't have thought of you capable of it. Yes, have fun at my expense. I'm being honest for once and have earned nothing but mockery. Thank you, Sienna, for telling us the truth. They may tease you a little, true, but it means a lot to us. Thanks. Well, that's it. Let's return to our rooms. Bom, bom, bom. Night time in Mary Lee. Rob and Eagle, the dynamic duo. Can't you sleep, Rob? I don't understand you, Sir Eagle. I'm the reason you're wrecking your brains? You should hate the people of Mary Lee with all your heart. They have oppressed your village and ultimately brought it to its death. Forgive me. Hmm, the church is to blame. That's true. But does that make every single resident guilty guilty? They belong to the church, isn't that reason enough? There can be many reasons why each of them is a part of the church. However, not every one of them were involved in the fate of my people. Should I just condemn them all? It would be the easiest thing to do, but would it be the right thing to do? You look at it so logically. The common people who bullied me in the Court of Tormund, I hate them with all my heart. Sir Eagle, you are a noble knight. Doesn't your pride hurt when you walk through Mary Lee? It's the death of my people that painfully pains me, but mere revenge will not bring them back. And certainly not if I take some random citizens as easy targets just to satisfy my need for revenge. If I did that, then I would be ashamed of myself. This would really hurt my pride. I understand. I wish I could see it the same way as you. Well, what's keeping you from it? I wonder. Are you sure you want to do this? No, of course we're not sure. Our first priority is Len's well-being after all. If we had only been conscious, we could have stopped her from coming here. If you really plan to kill him, it will throw the entire world into chaos. Are you aware of that? No, it will actually save the entire world. Take our word for it. Who are you planning on killing? The fucking... The Pope? The chief? The chief dickhead? You have screwed up! What if Killian returned the stone to King Frederick? Even if he brought them the grimoire and gave away our position, they won't be able to mobilise so quickly. Besides, we found Reiner's tomb. There is no longer any reason to stay in Volandis. Enough! I don't want to hear any more! Away with you! You do not deserve to meet the Holy Mother! Your Excellency, Princess Celestia Valkyria of Tarin is here. Ah, at last! I am honoured to be able to greet the Holy Mother! Who would have thought that you would be reborn during my administration of all times? I am here because you wanted to speak with me. What is it? Oh, right. What was his voice again? I guess some sort of posh, deeper. Your Excellency, leave the talking to me. You may also leave the room. But... Very well. Uh, 
Celestia, welcome. My name is Marcus, and I am the leader of the Gandebrand Society, which, as I'm sure you know, also organises the church. I know of Gandibranth, but originally you are from the Order of Leonor, aren't you? You know. Very good. What are you doing? How unexpected. The vessel is empty. The three guardians within you are gone. Three guardians? Celestia, you are here because I have to explain some things to you. The church is descended from the Order of Leonar, a group searching for a weapon that can defeat the Harbinger. We will work together to achieve this goal, but first, we have another common enemy. You speak of the Vayan? Indeed. They were supposed to wait from their throne in another dimension for us to find a weapon. But the immortality they gained there went to their heads. They felt like gods who thought they could judge mankind. And that is why they created the Grand Grimoire and destroyed the human world over and over again. They were afraid that mankind would become too strong. They made sure that the population and progress would be set back for millennia. How is it that we don't know about this from history books? History is written by the survivors, and these are named by the Vayan. They decide what is written. Even we of the Order do not know how many times this cycle has repeated itself. That is also the reason why you maidens exist. Narratives change, sometimes on purpose, sometimes by accident. Over millennia, one story becomes another. However, you maidens carry the unadulterated knowledge in your memories. No matter how many centuries pass, you all know what really happened. Not because of stories, but because you all have experienced everything yourselves. You are the truth of the Order. You really want me to trust you? I swear to God, I am on your side. But what is your reason for the monsters on Shambhala? We need to use the Grand Grimoire to destroy the Vayan. But do you know the true nature of the Grimoire? It must destroy life and absorb the ether to gain power. To kill the Vayan, we need to make the Grand Grimoire as strong as possible. This is why we created monsters that we could sacrifice to the Grimoire. Huh, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm leaning into believing you, but like... You're the church, man. The church are always the bad guys. <laughs> you know? <laughs> After all, we don't sacrifice humans like King Frederick. But you sent the monsters to the surface of Aldrea. We send the leftovers to our safe stations on the surface because we have developed something much better than those little beasts. We've created lumps of flesh that house as much ether as hundreds of monsters. Is that what all this is about? To protect human life? We will have plenty of time to get to know each other better. Celestia. There are three things we need in order to kill the Vayan. The Grand Grimoire as a weapon, the key from the Tomb of Reiner, and of course, the fitting door behind which the Vayan are hiding. Right, well, you've got the key, but you just lost the Grimoire, so... Here, you can have the key back. So the key opens the way towards the Vayan, but this is nothing more than a flower. 
And what about the Grand Grimoire? Please hand it over. We fought hard for it. Well, there is a little problem. It was stolen from us. What are you saying? You were going to take care of it. What? What? What happening? You mean what's happening? What's happening? Lord Marcus, we are under attack. Terran's troops have ambushed us. Impossible. How can this be? They could not have mobilized so quickly and caught up with us. Lord Marcus, our engine has been hit. Terran's generals have, are casting unimaginable magic. They've destroyed all the protective walls. Well, time to fucking abandon ship. Jesus. So, this is the rumoured power that destroyed Nebralia. My lord, I've initiated all preparations for a counterattack, but for safety reasons, I advise you to get on a rescue ship with the Holy Mother. Our conversation must continue another time, Celestia. What is going on? Woof. Hey, you there. What's happening? Taran is attacking us. Get to the shelters, quick. King Frederick is attacking the church? Has he gone mad? We need to find Len and get out of here. Agreed. Okay, but who is Bethraz talking about killing? <laughs> I, I need to know. No one's here. Not even a soldier. They must have escaped into a shelter or rescue ship. Seeing the damage done so far, I would pick the ship. Do you think they took Len with them? Of course. She's the Holy Mother, after all. Come, I will lead you the way to the hangar. Maybe we can catch up. Biddly 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 We need to get past these security doors. Uh, right. New joint. Keycard A! Hooray! I love Keycard A. Oh dear, why did I follow you? Please get us out of here. I'll sell you some stuff, okay? <laughs> ah, right. We have everyone back now. So, uh, is this, uh, is, do, do, do. that's what you've got. Uh, wait, no. Wait, who uses the spear? Wait, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> Who uses the spear? No one uses the spear? I guess the spear's the thing we haven't got anyone for yet. I thought we had someone who used the spear. Am I going crazy? I guess I'm thinking of... I must be thinking of the Epe? Oh no, I'm fucking dumb. It's because Len isn't in our party anymore. Right. Right. Okay, phew. Brain fucking issue. Okay, we just sold all our stuff, didn't we? Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, not much we can do with that. However, do we have skills and stuff that we can learn? Yes, everyone has a level. Do I do that now? Do I do that now? Yeah, fuck it, fine, let's do it now. <laughs> oh boy, so that's, that's going to be the end of this part. So, uh, yeah, we will, we will now get on to the old leveling. Right, Rob, what do you want? Three more skills. Do we want to lower the target's agility? Didn't we have someone else who could do that? I actually can't remember. Couldn't, couldn't Rob do that or something? I actually am not sure. I guess not. I thought someone could do it. Mm -mm. Rob, if I get rid of... Maybe I get rid of that for you. And give you... Yeah, that's probably good. Yeah, okay. I could have sworn... Maybe it was Killian. 
I don't know. It's not Len. Let's get him leg shot. And then we will remove physical wonder for it. And then 22% and then 25%. Okay, well, let's just bang that up to level 2. Get it started on its journey to level 3. Uh, we, are, we could, you know... Uh, Victor. Victor, I kind of don't want to get any more skills for, I think. So, is there anything that I actually am going to see and go, actually, I want that? No, it's just those two, for now. <laughs> Until we get to the next tier, but... Okay, uh... I think, for you, we just are going to go with tech points? Uh, health points, rather? Not tech points. Seems good, seems good. Okay. Uh, for you... Yeah, we can probably go health points as well. Uh, Eagle, I'm never going to use you if I, unless I have to, so... Not super caring about what I get for you. We've got damage to one. We've got damage... We've got two different damages to one, but that's just, like, way cheaper. He doesn't have a way to hit everyone, but I don't know if that's worth, necessarily. Hmm. Does he have any slots that I'm like, whatever? Raises hate on all enemies, load and unload, fully restore HP, take damage for the target for two turns, and mitigate it. You know what, this is actually really good. <laughs> the fact that he can take all the damage for someone else and then he can fully restore his HP. It is actually kind of kind of great, huh? Uh um, Grant's lure for one turn. <laughs> yeah, like he is super useful. I just don't enjoy playing him particularly. <laughs> so I don't know why, I just don't. It is what it is, I guess. Uh, hmm. What do I want to boost for him? Oh, wow. <laughs> Five things are about to level up for him. Next fight. Uh, I guess we'll just whack these up to level 2. So I'm actually kind of happy with what he's got skill-wise, so... I think we will go with... Uh... Have we got all his health boosts? We have got all his health boosts. Okay. So, uh, tech points. Probably good for him. Uh, right, Bethraz, I think we're pretty happy with you, right? Hmm. Oh. Did I fucking make the connection? I feel like, because I remember reading this. I don't think I realized that it restores TP to everyone. I mean, maybe I did, but in my brain I was like, oh, these are the same thing, but this one seems more useful, so I'll get that. I don't think I'd actually twigged that this restores TP to everyone. And so I'm going to get that. <laughs> Maybe I had twigged and I just previously decided it wasn't worth it, but currently is deciding actually it is worth it, so... Yeah. Uh... Hmm, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? I think we're going to max this out and then swap it, maybe? Let's do, let's do this, and then, ah, oh, fuck, it's 485. I was really hoping we'd have enough to fucking max it out. Okay, never mind then. Let's do this, and then swap that out. Hmm. 
Yeah. Restores DP by an amount based on number of summons times 15. Okay. So that's a f instant 45 TP heal to all. Uh, yeah, that's... That's probably pretty good. Uh, right, Sienna. Doo -doo -doo. We don't want Provoke. Probably, I mean, like, there are... Situa situationally, Lightning Rod could be good, but... Very situationally. Don't want to do that. Uh, I mean, these two work so well together, but then we'd have to get rid of Agility up, Crit Damage up, fucking Attack up, Agi up, Agi up, like... I <laughs> crit up, I, I, which is what's really good, but then obviously her dodging attacks is really good. These two obviously work together. Hmm. I do find that her tech points sometimes seem to run low, so I'm actually going to give her tech points plus five. I'm not as worried about health. I probably should be worried about health. I'll probably get health next time, but I do find for her that tech points, I'm like, oh, they're all gone, <laughs> like, quite often. Hmm. What do I what do I have for her? I've got the Tiger Punch, Tiger Rush. I've got Falling Dragon, Rising Dragon. Uh, I've got the Bleed, and I've got her opener. We've got Starfall. We got Spinning Kick. Man, you can upgrade this to do four times damage. That's kind of nuts. That is a little bit nutty. Let's let's upgrade that to level two. Because <laughs> that is kind of insane. Even though, like, obviously it's only something that works at the start. But that is kind of cracked. <laughs> uh, so I don't think I want to give her a new skill right now. Uh, so... 75% chance to act first in battle, which is really useful, like, in, con in conjunction with what she just had. Uh, what's she got? Agi up, save TP, attack up, crit, defense up. Eh, we could get rid of save TP. Yeah. Let's give her a strike first. Eighty-five and then a hundred percent. Okay. And then, lastly, you. Is there anything we haven't got for you yet? No. Okay. Good. Cool. Right. Uh, is everyone's equipment up to snuff? Uh, do do do. Decorated vest is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 stars. Leather gear is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 stars. Right, so you can have a decorated vest. Very nice. Is your attack... Your attack's 113. Is that the highest we have? Oh, Glenn's is 139. Glenn's kind of cracked on attack, yeah. But yours is the next best, and you have 28 agility, which is better than Glenn's, so you're going more often... You have significantly less HP, though. Glenn is kind of just cracked in general, huh? He has huge HP. 340. Does anyone come close to Glenn? No one comes close to Glenn on HP, and no one comes close to Glenn on attack. <laughs> That's kind of cracked. He also has pretty good TP for a non-magic user. Uh, his defense is 93. Defense and mind. Magical, physical and magical defense, 93.72, which is also, like, pretty high for a non-magic user. Yeah, Glenn's kind of just cracked, huh? Okay, uh, and then... Uh, do I want to... S oh, right, I was, like, looking at that formation, like, why is that formation like that? It's because they just got put back in my party. And it fucks it up when you do that. Okay, so, Victor... Uh, we want here, I guess. 
Do we want to have Amalia up front now? Maybe, because her heal all is better. Uh, Mika we will have with Sienna, and we will have her go first with her strike first thing. Um, Rob and Bethraz, you two can swap, and then Glenn and Eagle. Seems good. And then... I guess we have... Hmm. Yeah. When Len's back, we can deal with that then. <laughs> we can deal with that later. Alright. Time to see how we escape this joint. <laughs> 